Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Mental Health and Makeup. And on today's video, we're going to be counting down my favorite rainbow palettes for Pride Month. It is still Jul July. No, it's not still July. It's still June. We have a few more days. I have been doing all my rainbow looks for June. And of course, um, I haven't been filming because, well, you saw the last episode. Anyway, we're going to be focusing on counting in this one since we're doing a countdown. Um, <clears throat> counting helps to um, get through things that are really difficult. So um, when I'm starting to panic, sometimes I like to count. And I usually count backwards from 20. So I'm like 20, 19, 18. Because if you count backwards, you have to think a little bit more. And that helps you not think about the thing that is really stressing you out and giving you anxiety. So that's one of my favorite things to do. I count backwards from 20, 20, 19, 18, 17. And these are the kind of things that I should be doing before I like raise my voice or get upset. I am working <laughs> on calming down and counting back from 20 and it helps a lot with anxiety. Um, I have had such bad anxiety in my life when I was in college just a real quick story and then we'll get to it. We'll get to our uh, ranking. I promise. When I was in college, I was in college to be a teacher and there was this test that you had to take at the time and I forget what it was called. No, I remember Praxis. It's called the Praxis exam. And I had these two big old books to study for it. I was studying nonstop for weeks, paid like $125 to take this test. And that was a lot back then, especially. It's a lot now. But I had paid all of that money to take the Praxis exam. And I literally couldn't go because anxiety had me underneath my kitchen table just kind of rocking back and forth thinking, oh my God, I've paid all this money to go take this test, but I don't think I can do it. And um, that was before I went through my therapy. So I went through therapy for about five years. I'm back in some therapy now, but I was in deep therapy for about five years. And that's where I learned my counting, breathing type things. So today, counting. Remember, if you're trying to alleviate anxiety, counting backwards, you have to think about what number comes next. So you're more likely to leave the thought that is giving you the anxiety and now concentrate on the thought of counting backwards. So there you go. I hope that helps. Now we're going to count backwards. We're going to go from <clears throat> my least favorite rainbow palette to my most favorite rainbow palette. And that is our dear friend, our dear, dear friend, Chaos. She is annoyed that my voice is out loud. She's like, can you keep this to yourself and like, let me be my cat self got dry mouth. It's one of my, um, symptom or no, not symptoms, side effects from all my medication. Lord bless it. We're not hiding on this channel. People do try to use it against you though. You just, you just, you got to watch yourself. Okay. Now, 
On the bottom of the list, but still a very beloved rainbow palette, is my Beauty Bay Brights palette. The shimmers in here are fantabulous, and the mattes are also fantabulous, but like, look at that shimmer. Are you seeing this? It's like very chrome shimmer. This is um, a lot more. I just dropped some stuff. Lots of it, actually. Um, it's a lot more uh, foiled than, say, these ones, which we just covered in the last video. These are more ethereal. They're kind of uh, barely there shimmers. And I think that they must have done that on purpose because their normal formula, the shimmers are bomb. So that is coming in at number, let's see how many we have. See, this is Another thing about me and my and my mental health struggles is that I don't plan ahead very well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sorry. This is the Hip Dot X Meatball palette from last year. You guys know how much I loved this. I played with it a lot. I really love the glitters in this one. And that is why I do not, I did not sell this one because look at those glitters. They're everything. I think this is the only one of these palettes that has glitter in it. Probably should have ranked higher, but truthfully, I just kind of uh, organized them and was like, ooh, favorite, favorite, favorite. You know, I didn't, you know, I didn't put much thought in. Sorry. Ah, you know, I do what I can. <laughs> do what I can to disappoint you. <laughs> this is the Glam Light paint palette coming in at number nine, eight, number seven. I should use this a lot more than I do. The really cool thing about this particular palette. Now they had like a number two palette of this, but the cool thing about it is that it is a, um, it's a palette. Um, it's an old fashioned, you know, palette. So this, the top of it is, um, a very sturdy plastic where you could use this for painting. You could use it for a lot of things, but painting, you could definitely use this for. Um, so this could be your actual, you know, palette. You can also use that plastic for mixing eyeliners from here. So you would just need um, a little bit of water would turn all of these into liners. The shimmers are organized on the inside and the mattes are outside. I love that. I love Glam Light's formula. This is the, I have two Glam Light palettes. One's the taco and one's this one. I love them. Um, just haven't been able to afford them. I'll tell you what though, I really, really want to put in just a little bit of overtime and get that new Michaela. Um, X glam light palette with the greens and the blues and the purples, but I'm like, you don't need it, but it's so pretty. And I definitely don't need it because I got so many things I don't use. The next is the new one. This one is from Sheen, She Glam. Um, that's the look that I have on today. Actually, pretty much everything I'm wearing is from Sheen. Even my little butterfly cuff that was supposed to, like I was imagining putting it over here where there's not any hair, you know, to show it off. But um, I didn't pay attention when I was ordering it. It's just kind of one of my signature things. 
And then I got these earrings, which I freaking absolutely love and get a lot of compliments on. They're just little plastic lightning bolts, but they're freaking amazeballs. Um, also, the shirt came from Sheen. Just really good stuff. Um, the mats in this formula are next level amaze balls, perfect for color stamping, which is something that I'm very big into, which just literally means um, packing your brush and and then just stamping color on. And you want to do that after you've already blended a little bit of color out. Anyway, the shimmers in here are buildable and actually are really pretty. Um, the only one that I do not love is the blue one because it's very sheer. It's just very, very sheer. Um, if you can see what I mean, you can see green a little bit in this one, but the blue is just very, very sheer. So they're buildable though. And, um, really love this love sheen absolutely love it for the price you just freaking can't beat the price this was like eight bucks for this palette maybe 10 and that's because they were giving some to charity um love it can't say enough good things about sheen number five is the mean girls profusion palette I got this around Christmas time. This makes such a beautiful, beautiful rainbow um, using pink. And I did a look for work the other day with it. Absolutely love it. Love some of these pressed glitters. Um, and absolutely like that one so so pretty i think that's the one that i used with um the rainbow i put this on the lid oh it was just amaze balls absolutely cherish this palette very nice see now i'm actually enjoying all the palettes that i was just buying one after another um I also talked a little bit about that in the last episode, that that's what I'm trying not to do anymore. Um, I, for some reason, thought that I should use my pandemic money, my unemployment, um, to do this channel, and I would buy um, all of the latest releases, like I see other people doing on YouTube, and I'll just have this, like, you know, amazing following build up and all. Yeah, it just, it doesn't work that way. You have to have the following and then you can buy the stuff. So I went a little backwards. I bought a lot of stuff. We're going to slowly use some of those things that are in my collection. And I promise you guys, you don't have to buy every new release, even though they're gorgeous. And it's so hard to not buy every release, but um, I am restraining this year. I've hardly bought anything. That'll be another video coming soon. Um, we'll show the comparison of what little I have bought this year in the first six months. And we'll, we'll probably do a ranking video um, for the six months, so stay tuned for that. In fact, if you are not subscribed to this channel, take a moment right this minute and subscribe. We're going to be doing all kinds of crazy makeup and talking about things, things that are, um, you know, mental health related, like things that bug people or maybe some, you know, tips for people with anxiety or depression, stuff like that. You know what makes me not depressed? Rainbows. Rainbows make me not depressed. Love them. Okay. So here is a Lurella palette called What's Your Sign? This is an astrological palette 
And what I love about this palette is the richness of color and that we have this lime green along with the regular green and you've got several different blues the blue and the lime green together oh my gosh i'm oh so good and we've got pink and red so we can go and we've got two different kinds of red literally can make any kind of rainbow that you want with this and you've also got your black and your white and i think that this is a fantastic palette. This was one of the ones that was in, um, I got their subscription for like one month. <laughs> so we had, um, I have to count again. Every time I'm going to have to count because I'm going to forget every single time <laughs> what number we're on. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. This is number four from Lurella. There's another palette from Lurella in here because they're freaking wonderful. Number three. I have made an awful lot of looks with this palette just this month. This is the Relentless palette from Playing With In Makeup by Yola. And even though the rainbow in this palette is kind of I don't want to say understated. These colors are just um, more saturated and almost with a darker base. Um, these highlight shades are all with a black base underneath them. And it's, it's just so good. These colors are effortless to blend. And literally, what do you have in that palette that you don't like you've got everything you need everything <sighs> so beautiful love this palette wish that you know what i don't have to wish that i had more time to play with it i have more time to play with it and we're gonna um i also <laughs> let me take a break from that that was number three by the way let me take a break from that just for a second to say that I realized that I started a bunch of series on this channel that I didn't finish. And I also realized that I keep telling you guys I'm going to learn how to link things below, and I don't. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm a beautiful person. Enjoy what you got. I tend to do that. I start things that I don't necessarily finish. I have intended to. <laughs> But I don't always channel, so I will do exactly what I can on this channel and nothing more. <laughs> okay, up next, of course, is Jawbreaker. This is the number two palette, and I just changed my mind as I was sitting here, and I put this at number two. And the reason being is that when I use this palette for rainbows, I almost always make a pastel rainbow. Now you can use, you can do a more regular rainbow, but this is the perfect pastel rainbow. And in fact, it's absolutely gorgeous uh, sunset palette as well. Just these three, four colors are my most used along with this guy right here, are my most used in this palette. And I love this palette. I hope it lasts forever. I really do. I love this palette. And I love the fact that it bends backwards like that. It's got a great mirror on it. We love the Jawbreaker. I love the Jawbreaker so much that this is the only bag that I bought from Jeffree Star uh, from the website, but it's the Jawbreaker bag, and I love it. It's my travel bag for makeup. Absolutely love it. Oh, and if you watched the last video and watched it to the end, and you responded in the comments with a guess on how many of my 30 Jeffree Star mirrors are broken, I'm gonna tell you that number now. I literally have five broken out of 30. 
I have bro broken five mirrors. And I wonder why things are going so difficult for me. Like, I've been having a really rough time. <laughs> and I keep, like, I don't know, getting accused of crap I didn't do and going through all kinds of stuff. And I'm like, maybe it's because I broke all those mirrors. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and now, dum 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 for our favorite rainbow palette. This is the Lurella prideful palette. This was their pride palette last year. I saw their pride palette for this year and that was good, but this is just balls, and there's nothing that can beat it. You have several different options. You can go, um, in with a pink rainbow. You can add pink to the rainbow. You can, the it has literally the indigo blue and the regular blue. The shimmers are amaze balls. The mattes are amaze balls. There is glitter in the yellow, one of the yellow matte shades. It is just everything that you could possibly want in a rainbow palette and more. The only thing that is missing from this palette um, is a black and a white, but you have this very dark purple that you can kind of use in a black-ish way. Um, but really, I don't think that you need the black and white. I think that this is um, a very well thought out rainbow palette. And I absolutely love it. And I fit in on the Pride Spectrum I um, have dated some girls, and so I don't like um, saying bye. I, 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 I don't like saying that I'm that. Um, I, I just say I've dated some girls, and I leave it at that. <clears throat> so there you go. We love our rainbows. And let's see. Put down in the comments um, what your favorite rainbow palette is. And I love you guys. If you're not subscribed, please think about subscribing to this channel. The madness that will have the madness that will ensue. Um, I've got the crazy eyes. Don't forget that. Crazy eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.